That was close. <laughs> Jesus. do what you gotta do. Where'd that other motorcycle go? Okay, I just want to warn everybody. There's a chance we could see some snow. I don't want to freak anybody out. I know it's not even the middle of October yet. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But there is a chance, a small one, that we might end up seeing some snow. God damn it, this goddamn traffic. I'm really, I'm really kind of having like a little bit of a crisis. Like I'm getting all these new toys, like this GoPro Hero 5, and like winter is coming. And it's close. Like it's already like, I shouldn't say it's close. That's nice. Uh, I shouldn't say it's close. This weekend it's going to be like mid to high 70s, which is good. But this whole beginning of the week has just been in the like the 50s and it sucked. I think the high today was like 60. I definitely am trying to get a uh, a snowmobile ugh, type situation set up. Like, I think it'd be a lot of fun if I got a, if a group of us went out and we rode snowmobiles. I haven't done it since I was like f the last time I was on a snowmobile I was like eight or nine. So it's been a while. I used to have my own, like a little. Uh, it's called the little cat, and uh, it was a full-on snowmobile, but just for like kids. I remember we were, I was watching Die Hard 2 with my mom, and I was young, I was probably like 7 or 8, and there's a scene in Die Hard where he's riding a, a snowmobile or a snow machine or whatever the hell you want to call him. Hey, where the fuck is McLean? Uh, to try to like stop a plane from like crashing. And I remember after we watched that movie, it was like, probably like 12.30 in the morning. And, uh, what was, why are you, oh. It was like 12.30 in the morning, and I was like, hey mom, can we take the, uh, can we take the snowmobile out? And she's like, sure. So, we literally, at about one in the morning, rode up and down my neighborhood in the middle of the street on a snowmobile. One of the best memories um, that I have from my childhood amongst amongst others. Oh, right into the direct sunlight. Perfect. Because all this looks like water, these little tar snake things. Oh, and back to like the uh, the no sniffles because it's like cold out there and a little warm in the helmet and you get the draft and it's kind of the whole time. It sounded like Donald Trump. This mic was rigged. I'll tell you that right now. It was rigged. And over me. And we're good. Yeah, so I'm hoping like expect some snowmobile videos and some skiing videos. I'm gonna try to get Muscle Biker out there too. If he doesn't spend all his money in the Philippines, the guy goes everywhere. He's a world traveler. Okay. Break time. GoPro, stop recording. What the road look like. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little wet, but oh, snow! Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. That was straight up snow. Oh, there's more down there. Hopefully no one hits my bike.
You think you're so goddamn cool, Snow? No one likes you. You don't provide a service to anybody. Fuck you, stupid Snow. Although, ooh. Decent, uh, decent snowball snow. Ah, fuck you, Snow. That's right. Tell your friends. Ah, I think I taught... I think I taught it a lesson. Hopefully, we won't be hearing from him and his friends anymore. It's what I do. It's a service. Now my hands are cold from touching... Ah, it got back at me! See, now my hands are all cold. <laughs> Damn you, Snow! Damn you! Chase on two wheels do the no hands challenge on the freeway. I mean, in a straight line? Come on, anybody can do that. The real trick is can you hit a 20 mile an hour recommended turn with no hands? We're going to find out if I can. Actually, I already know I can. I've done it before. <laughs> no suspense here. Just got to ride that rear brake a little bit and oh, 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 got a little squirrely and we did it. We did it, everybody. At 23 miles an hour.